Hello, my name is Wesley McGregor, and I'm the Information Technology Specialist with SMCCS's IT department. Um, today, we're going to be going over the one-to-one -one device setup for the SMCCS provided computers that students have received. Step one, uh, we're going to be selecting our region. So, it's pretty simple. We're going to power on the device. Right? Once the device is completely powered on, you're going to be met with the uh, screen that you see on the left. We're going to be selecting United States for our region, and then we can click Yes to continue. After that, you're going to be brought to a, uh, a keyboard layout selection. Um, we're going to be selecting US for our keyboard layout, and then we can click Yes to continue. At this point, we're going to be asked if we want to add a second keyboard uh, to the device. Uh, in most cases, we don't recommend adding a second keyboard. So just click the Skip button in the bottom right to continue. Now, step four is going to be a little bit different for everyone. Um, we're going to be selecting our wireless uh, like network. So you're going to be presented a list of different wireless networks that, that you can connect to that are local to your area. Um, locate your home wireless network. Click on it. Click Connect. And then if your wireless network requires a password, enter the password and then click on Next to continue. So at this point, the computer is going to restart itself. This could take a minute, a minute and a half to occur. But once the machine comes back on, you're going to be prompted to enter your SMCPS email address. Um, so your SMCPS email address is going to be your first initial, your middle initial, your last initial. And then the last four of your student ID number at k12.smcps.org. Um, so, for example, uh, ABC1234 at k12.smcps.org. Um, so, for there, if there are students that do not have a middle initial, uh, just use your first and last initial in this instance. Um, also, if you don't know what your student ID number is at all, uh, please contact your school uh, for that information. Um, all right, step seven uh, is going to be entering your passwords. It's going to be a little bit different for elementary and uh, middle school and high school. So we'll start off with elementary school. Um, you're going to be prompted to enter a password. Uh, the elementary school's passwords are a generic password. Uh, it's going to be uh, your student ID number with one eight at the end. So, for example, if your student ID number is one two three four five six, your student's password is going to be one two three four five six one eight. All right. Um, and at that point, uh, the device should log in for the elementary school student. Um, for elementary school students, you can skip step step nine in this video um, to continue. As for middle school and high school students, um, you're required to set your own password. So for middle and high school students that have changed their password via Gmail, Clever, Schoology, um, or through our student reset portal on our website, um, since August 14th, you can now use that new password at this login screen. So if you reset your password at any of those instances, you can use that new password here. Um, if, if you use the new password, you can also skip ahead to step nine. Um, for middle and high school students that um, have not reset their password since uh, August 14th, um, your accounts have all been set to a temporary password for you. Um, and that temporary password uh, is going to be your student ID number, hyphen, your initials, followed by SMCPS, and if all the words are located. So for example, the student Alex Brandon Charles, with their student ID number 123456, their temporary password would be 123456-ABC-SMCPS. Um, at this point, you're going to be prompted to change your password. Uh, in the first box, it's going to say current password. You can re-enter your temporary password that we just spoke about. So it's going to be your student ID number, hyphen, 
your three initials, S and CPS all lowercase. And then in the next two boxes, we're going to enter and then re-enter a new password. Now, keep in mind, students, uh, your password needs to be at least eight characters long, and it needs to have three of the four following. A capital letter, a lowercase letter, a number, or a symbol. Um, once you do that, you can click sign in, and you're going to be prompted to a, a message that says your password has been successfully updated. It takes a little bit for our servers to catch up. At this point, we can manually restart the device. So you're going to hold down the power button until the screen goes dark, and then press the power button again to turn the system back on. Um, at this point, you're going to want to go through steps one uh, through six again. Uh, you please note, you're not going to need to re-enter your wireless password. Um, it should save that for you, so you can click uh, Next through that. Once you get back to step seven to enter in a password, use your new password for that piece. Once that happens, the device will begin to automatically configure itself. So uh, in this instance, right, it's three steps. It'll go through, uh, you'll get little green check marks throughout. Um, this could take anywhere between 10 minutes or 15 minutes, depending on the speed of your internet access. Um, but give it time, and it, it'll get through. So once the setup is complete, you're going to find yourself in uh, Windows, and it will look just like it did last year or the year before um, at school. Uh, you can go to the bottom left, click on the Windows button, uh, there's a little Windows icon on the bottom left. You're going to click Power, and then you'll click the Restart button. Uh, this will restart the computer. Um, right? um, at this point, the device will completely re uh, restart. You'll be able to log back in using your SMCPS password, whether that be the generic for elementary school students or the new password that our middle and high school students have set. And at that point, the setup is complete. Um, something to keep in mind, we always recommend that uh, students reset their computers at least once, or at the very least once a week, but preferably once a day. Um, it solves a lot of problems. You'd be, you'd be surprised. Uh, for any students that are experiencing any issues with the setup process, please reach out to your sites and have them submit a help desk ticket with ITF, and we'll be in contact with, with them, and they'll be in contact with you uh, to help you through the process. Also, remember to visit the SMCPS org website uh, for more information and any updates.